Hey there YouTube, so I had a request to really explain more in detail how to layer transparent images and where to find transparent images um, to use in your bottle caps to create custom bottle caps instead of just searching for images on Google. Um, so the first thing I did was I opened my Google and I also have my GIMP program opened in the back with my bottle cap template already open. Um, I'm going to go to Google and first I'm going to find a background um, that you're going to layer your transparent image on top of. So for example let's say I'm going to use a polka dot background. I'm going to put in black polka dot background. and hit enter and then just switch over to images. Then it's going to pop up all these pictures of polka dot backgrounds. You can just go ahead and select whichever one you like and save it to your computer. Um, I like this one right over here in the corner so I'm going to click it. It's going to pop up here and then you're going to go over the image and just right click on your mouse and hit the save image as. So I'm going to save this as it comes up black dots white polka dots white black. That's how I'm going to save it. And then let's say on top of that I want to put a pink mustache. So I'm going to search since I want it to be transparent so I can still see the polka dots in the background I'm going to put transparent pink mustache in Google and I'm going to hit enter. Now all these pictures of pink mustaches are going to pop up. Not all of these are transparent though. The way you check if they're transparent is you just kind of take a guess which one you like best. I like this really bright pink one. I'm going to click on it and it's going to pop up. I don't know if you can see very well in this camera, but there's lines going through the background. That means that there's no background. Okay? Let me try and find one. See like this? See the lines? That means this one is transparent. But not all the ones will be. This one, for example, is as well. Even though it looks black up here, when you actually click on it, there's no background. So I'm going to save this one. And just save it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my GIMP program. Right here. You're going to go into this little corner, hit File. I'm sorry the my camera is not very focused. I need to change the settings. But you hit File and then you go to open as layers it's going to pop up your images just go to pictures find the folder you saved it in I saved it under YouTube and then you find the picture you want okay so first I'm going to do the background so I did my black and white polka dot I'm going to open it it opens right there um, for a better tutorial on how to use GIMP in detail there's another one on my page this is really just showing you how to do the transparent images um, my other tutorial shows you all the basics how to layer that kind of stuff um, so when I get this here I'm going to always make sure to move my template to the top and that just puts my image behind a little circle just like that okay so that's ready right there and then I just go back to file now I'm going to get the mustache, so I open his layers again, and then just click on the mustache, and go down to open. Okay, and there's my mustache. See? And then once again, you just want to always make sure your bottle cap template is on top. Okay, now the pink, the light pink maybe wasn't the best choice, and if that's you know the case that's fine just go back you know like I said I thought the hot pink would work really good um, but let's try this, this blue one here as you see it is transparent 
So I'm just going to click on it and save it once again. I'm going to go back to GIMP and I'm going to go over here to the side where it says my mustache right here, the second one. And then I'm going to go down here and just delete it. Take that mustache right off. So then I'm going to go back to File, Open as Layers, and find my blue mustache now. Now we'll open right there. Go make sure my bottle cap template's always on top. And there is a blue mustache on top of the polka dot background. And you can adjust it, you know, wherever you want. If you want to put the mustache here, and then you want to put a letter here, or however you'd like. Um, but that's pretty much how transparent images work. It's really simple. Um, it's just all about going to google.com and typing in the word transparent before any image you're looking for. Even if you're looking for, you know, uh, Weenie the Pooh or anything. You just put the word transparent before whatever you're searching for. And then just find whatever background you want. It doesn't have to be polka dot or anything. It could be, you know, a forest background or whatever you want. Um, and just layer your images right on top. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. Also, don't be afraid to recommend some tutorials. I don't mind, you know, helping guys out. I This is just all stuff that I've learned over time. And, you know, I'm all about taking shortcuts and making it as easy as possible. So, these are just my ways, and I hope it helps you guys. Thanks. Bye.